Cheers, everyone! This is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome to Of Carrots and Blood, a game about bunny rabbits that are throwing carrots at things that are bleeding. Yes, that is pretty much a way to simply describe this game. I guess you could say it's more of a shmup uh, shooting defense game. That's really about the only way I can really think of wording it. So, as a point of disclosure, I should mention the fact that this game key was offered to me from the developer for Let's Play and Reviewing purposes. So, I decided to take him up on it and check the game out. So, this is just kind of a video associated with it. Now, of course, all my opinions are of my own, and I'm trying to just speak as honestly as I can about it. But hopefully, you know, if you want to play the game, you'll look at it and just be like, eh, it's for me, it's not for me. Eh, you know, it's all up to you. It's your choice. As you can see, I can choose different characters here that I can pick, and you will eventually work on getting all of these unlocked, but here's the ones I've got so far. I've got Shadow, Voodoo Boy, I've got Agony Girl, and of course I've got the regular Bunny Rabbit, and i got the Monk, which is short for Monkey, and a Ninja. Well, we're gonna go with the Bunny. So basically, this is the level. This is the main gameplay itself. And what you do is it's a two, it's a twin stick shooter where you're basically keeping these things away from your carrot. That's pretty much the entire point of it. So you're throwing carrots at these things constantly, which are kind of mutant things with dumpling looking heads. That's kind of what they really look like. And trying to keep them away from the carrot. Now, one other thing you have to make sure you don't do is that you don't attack the carrot yourself. Because you can damage a carrot by throwing carrots at your carrot. So you can have a carrot with your carrot, and then carrot while you're carroting. Yes. I made an old reference there. Jokes, people! This is how you do comedy! You pull things out that aren't relevant anymore! In the meantime, of course, also, while you are killing all of these things, they drop brains. Your brains are your currency. Currency that you can use to buy stuff later on here. They also drop random items and pickups, like uh, this right here, the Magnet, which is easily my favorite one because it sends an orbit of carrots all over the place. That's a bit of a downside to it though, too, which you'll see in a second. Watch the carrot! Watch the carrot! There we go. See? That's the downside of the Magnet, which I don't really understand why they do that. Nope! Oh, crap! Don't attack my own carrots! I can't do that! Don't understand- oh! I love some of the pickups you get though, especially like the super speed here. Like throw all of those like crazy as fast as possible. Come on! Stop doing that! Yeah, the problem is the fact that it definitely can be a little bit easy to accidentally throw your carrots at your uh, carrot. And that will definitely make the round a little bit shorter. You have to keep them from attacking. You see on the upper left corner, that tells you exactly how much health your carrot has. Of course, also, make sure you don't take damage. As soon as you take damage, it's game over. So that's another thing you have to remember, too, when it comes to defending your carrot. Oh, hey! Stop attacking my carrot with that. And the thing is, I don't understand why. They, they, they look like dumplings. They're supposed to be mutants. They're... I guess they're mutant dumplings. The whole story has something about, like, you know, village turning into mutants, but apparently it's a mutant dumpling. <laughs> I love that pickup. It's like, BOOM MATE YOU DEAD! Ain't touching me now. Think you're gonna be getting too close? You're gonna go ahead and go after my carrot? Well, too bad! I've got an explosion fistful of TNT for your face! And let them get over here. Blow everyone up. <laughs> Come on! Who all thinks they can face me? No one can stand against the brewmaster, motherfucker! Don't you understand? It's a feel endeavor on your part. And one thing I can say is a little bit... Whoa, crap. There we go. Woo! Whoa, crap. Okay, okay. Ah! There we go. Finally died. 215. Not too bad. But let's go back out of this for a second. I want to switch characters up. Because I could use either Ninja or the Monkey. I love the monkey's face. It's just like... Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool. You ain't gonna be able to fuck me. Uh, let's see, inventory. I've got a couple of different glasses here. Let's see, vignette, shrooms, saturated. Let's go with vignette. 
Uh, yeah, vignette. And start. Okay. The look on the monkey. Okay. Oh, man. That makes things a lot more annoying. I have no idea where things are going to be coming from now. Now, one thing I will say so far that I've noticed is a little bit annoying is the pacing. It can definitely take some time to build up some actual challenge. And of course, as you go along, there's going to be. The challenge will ramp up, but. It definitely is like, okay, I want these guys to kind of hurry up already. So now I gotta wait. Oh, hey! Woohoo! That was close. Oh, a new pair of glasses. They're as great and useful as these, right? Speed, motherfucker! I'm so fast, I'm Sonic fast! And it definitely does add a little bit of extra challenge, though, having these glasses on. I'm like, I can't really quite see where exactly the next mutants are going to be coming from. Makes things a little bit more difficult. Face my bananas! I don't have carrots here. I got bananas. Oh, banana. The chiquita banana. The chiquita banana. A monkey's face, though. I just love it. He's just like, yeah, 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 I'm a monkey that's sophisticated. I don't throw my shit at people. I throw bananas! Got a banana in my pocket for you, baby. Come on. Take my banana! Banana! Whoa! Crap. That was definitely not... I didn't see that one coming from behind me. Okay, let's back out of this for a second. And let's go to... Wait, hold on. Do you have something at the lab yet? I can't remember. So, speaking of the lab... Basically, this is where you go to work on getting your extra characters. You pick up DNA as you go along through the game, and bring them to this guy, with a weird third eye and a tail. Hey, seems like you have found one DNA sample. You want to start brain fusion? Yep, sure, I've got enough. Fusion! Alright, this will take some time. I will notify you when it's done. Okay, so, then you go and play some rounds, and then they get you another character. But, let's also go over here to Tabby Tinder. Tabby Tinder is your store, where you can find all your convenient needs! This guy in a weird, uh, dinosaur suit. And holding a flame for some reason. I don't know! Whatever, I don't judge him! Don't judge him! Okay, so there's a bunch of different things you can buy here. These, let's see, most of these I think are going to be different inventory things you can equip when you go into battle. Starting up here, we get the rings. Rings of last resort. Ring of loot. Ring of love. Ring of luck. And then twirl glasses. Uh, all of those things kind of change up, you know, the game a little bit slightly, it looks like. We go ahead and buy the ring of last resort. Like, that's a good choice. Yep. I know it's a good choice. Okay. So, I'm guessing these are just things that you can equip with every round. Now, I don't... Man, that's an expensive bike. I never realized that before. I have no idea what it does. Some of these other ones are not quite as clear. Mysterious instrument, reflects projectiles from bushes. That one tells you what it does. It does a little bit faster speed. And sneeze powder. Now as far as these right here, these are drops that you get. As you kill monsters, you can possibly get some of these ones. So you can add this to your queue. And actually get some more stuff, basically. And down here you get your music. Speaking of which, I should probably go ahead and change the music! Uh, where's the music? Over here. Vinyls! That's the main theme, I think. Put the disco song, I think. Yeah, let's put the disco song on. Uh, otherwise, what do we got? Trophies? Different little achievements you get. That's pretty much all that is there. So, yeah. Let's go back for another round. I think it's time to pull out a ninja. And we should also equip that ring, too. Ninja, ninja, ninja. I throw a shark in at you! It's a uh, so uh, nice to meet you. Let me throw a uh, sharp edge like into your face. Pretty much sure that that's how all ninjas greet new people. You know, if they haven't met them before, they just throw a ninja shuriken in their face. This is science, people! I know martial arts! I know exactly what I'm talking about. Note, Blasphemy Remaster does not actually know what the hell he's talking about. He's making shit up. Ninja is pretty cool, though. It's like, you don't actually get any real benefit whatsoever by doing these different characters. They just are fun to play as. I mean, pretty sure they don't have any arms either. How come it's already... Oh, I picked up this stupid double item. Oh, that was a DNA, by the way. 
That's what you go and use to get new people. One thing I wish that you could do is like change the carrot up in the center, at least to something else. Now, the levels are not any different. There's no other levels that I've really seen. So it's pretty much all the same concept. So replay value might not necessarily be the sort of thing that's going to keep you here for like years or anything. But it's kind of an arcade game. That's kind of what you should just remember as. If you don't know what an arcade is, you should look it up. There were things that kids used to go back to and actually hang out together and pump quarters into machines as they drain their brains away. That's at least how our parents used to think all the time. All I know is I was kicking people's butts in frickin' Street Fighter and, uh... What was the other one? Soul Calibur 2! <laughs> if you haven't noticed also, enemy variety, not really the highest. There's like, so far, maybe three things that you've seen. I think I've seen about two more. Maybe there's four. I've seen two others, I think. Oh, maybe one other, actually. Hey! Stop trying to- Get away from it! Get away from my carrot! There we go. It's my carrot, you! No, you can't ha- Oh, crap. Oh! Ha ha ha! I forgot about the ring! Hey! Stop it! What did I just say? I said get away from my carrot. Hey! You, 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 you! Oh! What the heck even touched me? Well, that was worthless. Okay! Well. Let's back out of here now, I think. So, what else is there to the game? Not too much. That much is definitely kind of short. It's like primarily this mode right here. There's, as you can see, it's kind of all a map. We can see the high scores over here. And this, I have not figured out what exactly it is. You go in here. It says the melody will reveal even the darkest shadows, but... I'm like, you can kind of move around in here. And get over to that other end, but it hasn't had anything in there that I've seen. See? I can kind of see him getting over there. But! I don't know what it is! So, yeah, I have no idea. You can go here, you can look at that ship. Alright, that's the game. Well, there's multiplayer too. There's a co-op force where you're pretty much, I think, playing the other mode with another player. Deathmatch, which is two to four players. And the Abyss, which is two players, don't fall into the deep growing abyss or get thrown against the deadly spikes. Then the Minefields, which is two players. I don't have any other players, otherwise I'd be showing you all of these right now. So, there's a couple of multiplayer modes. I don't know exactly how they would end up playing and looking, but I will say for this that it is actually online multiplayer. This game's only like seven bucks or so, but they actually have multiplayer that's online. A lot of these indie games don't have that, especially not at that price point. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you go to the main menu here, you can see, play online! You can host a game and join a game, but yeah, no, that's pretty much it. That's of carrots and blood, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, for the price, about seven, eight bucks, not bad, actually. Like I said, it's a simple arcade game. It has one simple mode, and it has some multiplayer options, too. So, especially online, that's not bad. Well, thank you for going ahead and joining me on this video today. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a like. Give it a comment. And why don't you give it a subscribe, even? I always like to hear from you. So let me hear from you, the viewer. In the meantime, go ahead and raise your can of whatever you're drinking in the air, and have another one on me. Love and peace. Please tell me I'm not going to have to... <laughs> Rapid Fire Raptor Gatling Gull. Oh my god, this is the most awesome game I've played in a while. Oh. And... I don't have any health. Can I come back? Can I play? Pea Shooter is joined the shootout. I want a quick restart. But crap, that Gatling goal was amazing. Oh my god, that is the sort of...